Lord for another day Thank you for the waters Lord The rains that soak the ground Thank you for the rivers Lord Fishes that swim around Every morning when the day's begun I thank the Lord for all he has done Every evening when I kneel to pray I thank the Lord for another day My dear brothers and sisters a warm welcome to each one of you for this holy Eucharist We pray for all your personal intentions in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call the sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings, chapter 11 verses 4 to 13 when solomon grew old his wives swayed his heart to other gods and his heart was not holy with the lord his god as his father david's had been solomon became a follower of astart the goddess of the sidonians and of Milcom, the Ammonite abomination. He did what was displeasing to the Lord and was not a wholehearted follower of the Lord, as his father David had been. Then it was that Solomon built a high place for Chemosh, the god of Moab, on the mountain to the east of Jerusalem, and to Milcom, the god of the Ammonites. He did the same for all his foreign wives who offered incense and sacrifice to their gods. The Lord was angry with Solomon because his heart has turned from the Lord, the God of Israel, who had twice appeared to him and who had then forbidden him to follow other gods. But he did not carry out the Lord's order. The Lord therefore said to Solomon, Since you behave like this and do not keep my covenant or the laws I laid down for you, I will most surely tear the kingdom away from you and give it to one of your servants. For your father David's sake. However, I will not do this during your lifetime, but will tear it out of your son's hands. Even so, I will not tear the whole kingdom from him for the sake of my servant David and for the sake of Jerusalem which I have chosen. I will leave your son one tribe. 
the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm o lord remember me out of the love you have for your people o lord remember me out of the love you have for your people they are happy who do what is right who at all times do what is just o lord remember me out of the love you have for your people response o lord remember me out of the love you have for your people but instead they mingled with the nations and learned to act as they did they worshiped the idols of the nations and they became a snare to entrap them response o lord remember me out of the love you have for your people they even offered their sons and their daughters in sacrifice to demons till this anger blazed against his people he was filled with horror and his chosen ones response o lord remember me out of the love you have for your people gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia the lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds alleluia The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 7 verses 24 to 30. Jesus left Genesareth and set out for the territory of Tyre. There he went into a house and did not want anyone to know he was there. but he could not pass unrecognized a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him straight away and came and fell at his feet now the woman was a pagan by birth a syrophenician and she begged him to cast the devil out of her daughter and he said to her the children should be fed first because it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the house dogs but she spoke up ah yes sir she replied but the house dogs under the table can eat the children's scrap and he said to her for saying this you may go home happy the devil has gone out of your daughter so she went off to her home and found the child lying on the bed and the devil gone the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters the syrophenician woman of the gospel reading believed with all her heart that Jesus had the power to cast out demon in her daughter's life Jesus' first response did not put her off she persisted in seeking his assistance and seeing her faith and hearing the cry of her heart Jesus healed her daughter She is an example of enduring faith and trust in Jesus' power. Solomon on the contrary in his later years forgot the goodness and faithfulness of God. He worshiped and sacrificed to the idol gods as he gave in to his passions and temptations of the flesh and the evil one. the enemy comes to rob kill and destroy what god has given to each one of us we must be always watchful lord jesus protect me that i may never turn up my eyes from you amen Oh 
things are thine, O Lord. We offer thee what we receive from thy hands. All things are thine, O Lord. We offer thee what we receive from thy hands. Blessed Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you. We pray that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly enter it through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in your goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Derek our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. On all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my heart. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, have a wonderful day. Ave Maria, Brother.